What's going on, guys? Back at you with another Seahawks YouTube video, take two. I recorded this last night. Thought I saved it. Can't find it. Note to self. Don't record the videos late at night. Because then you forget what, what you see them under. So, my mistake, but let's try this again. So, the last time you guys saw me, what they said, I believe. And I apologize for that. But Friday, I was in a nice positive mindset. Saturday and Sunday, I take off at least for the next two weeks until football season comes back. Then there's no time off during the weekend. I also make sure you look forward to that. And Yesterday I had things on my mind, so I'm back today with another video. So let's get into it. If you saw me Thursday, you saw I was not happy with the way Geno Smith played. No. People like the guy I added in the title. <laughs> Todd Dillon, who is a who used to do some form of uh, scouting for college football or you wrote on rivals or something like that. It was for the University of Georgia. I know that much. Because he did a breakdown on Justin Fields when he was coming out for the draft and other players that also come out of Georgia. Not that Justin Fields came out of Georgia, but that's where he started his college career, so yeah. That's why he was talking about Justin Fields. He also talks about uh, Florida players like Freddie Swain, I'll get into that, who's a wide receiver for the Seahawks. I'll get to that in a second. So, according to him and other people that follow the Seahawks, Geno Smith technically did nothing wrong. Uh, Thursday during the preseason. And technically, they're correct. It's not his fault. The offensive line has multiple pre-snap penalties. It's not his fault. Freddie Swain alligator armed a pass that should have been caught. So none of that. Is it fine? However, as a quarterback, you are supposed to be able to make plays happen. I honestly never see Gina Smith make plays happen. Maybe when you Younger flying for the Jets, he could do this. 
to get the ground around for his flying buckets to come up and get him when he escaped out of the pocket and make a throw downfield. The last time he did this was at least for the Seahawks was against the Jaguars last season when the Jaguars I believe was the worst defense or one of the worst defenses in the NFL someone will have to correct me in the comment section. Now, against three good defenses, the Rats, the Saints, and the Steelers, because I was at the Saints game against the Rams when he came in still for a touchdown or two I can't remember the exact excuse my dog so. is it I'll be back on stage Quiet down. Again, I'll be back. Once my dad. Quiet down. Okay, I'm back. I apologize for my dog. But it's what dogs do. They bark. Anyway, against the Rams, he threw for a touchdown, but only four times to end the game. He ran out of the pocket to the right, tried to scram back left, threw a ball to right. Believe he was aiming for Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett's feet got tangled with the with the uh, Rams defender on it with an incomplete pass on the Seattle Black Packers. Against the Saints, he threw a 50-55 to DK Metcalf. Metcalf caught it. Steph Arms marched on. Without a more. Juke the safety and ran into the end zone. I was there for that. But when the pocket collapses, and he can run out of the pocket. Again, I'll be back. Back again, I apologize. I was telling you, when Vino Smith tried to escape the pocket, he got sacked if he's lucky. I remember the Sunday night game in overtime. He had a receiver on a he had Metcalf on a go route. He had Lockett on a crossing route and he chose not to turn the go route, which was a good decision. 
even though he had like it open on me. Crossing her, he decided not to tell her. Instead, he tried to tuck it, ran with it. DJ Watt came across, stripped it from him, recovered, recovered the ball, and were able to kick the game winning field goal out because Geno Smith wanted to play. He all ball and scramble out of the pocket. So either way, in or out, out of the unless it's a clean pocket. Gino Smith is not the great decision maker to be well, to be nice. Now, tell villain real name Murph. I'm sorry to uh, Murph I can't remember his last name. I'm not gonna put it out there even if I could because I'm not that guy. But Murph said people cover the Seahawks like Corbin Smith who has his own YouTube channel locked on Seahawks have put out oh Gino Smith's doing fine. Uh even though Corbin Smith did come out and say Corbin Smith, I mean Gino Smith needs to play better. Today he came <laughs> Why will my dog not let me finish this video? I'll be back again. I'm back again. Let me try to finish this video before they start barking again. Now, here's the thing. I get Gina Smith is the safe bet, but if Gina Smith was doing so great in practices on preseason, why doesn't Pika and Amen the starter for week one run. Instead, he's letting Drill Lock play game three of the preseason and saying, who knows, I might not name a starter until before week one of the regular season. Is this? Keeping his clothes cart so it says just so the Broncos don't know what to defend against for week one is this because both quarterbacks are doing so badly he doesn't know who who the name? All I know is that people like Todd Billing, uh, Seahawks, Brandon Nelson, and Corbin Smith need to take out their rose colored glasses when it comes to. Gino Smith and his capabilities as a starting quarterback. And with that being said, until the next video, God first, God bless, stay safe, stay out of trouble, and until the next one, I'm out. Make sure you hit the like button, the sub button, share this video, uh, and if you're feeling generous and want to donate to the page, you can 
do so via cash app at Seahawks Soldier. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace. And God help the 12th man receiver. Peace.